guys welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial i want to teach you guys um a card trick now i know i haven't taught card tricks in a while i'll only be teaching moves on the channel but today i decided to change it up for you guys next one might be something on card history so um let's just get right into this this is how it looks like so the jack of spades goes in the middle of the deck just like that another card is selected um the five of hearts what happens if you put the five of us right there in the middle of the deck just like that so that you can see and just by doing this you can see that they actually change positions but to confirm why don't we actually check and we actually see that the five of speeds has actually switched positions with the jack of speeds okay sorry and yeah that is how the card trick looks like so without further ado let's just get right into the tutorial for that so as a bonus for this you guys would also be learning color change so yeah two in one also don't forget to like and subscribe so if you haven't subscribed yet um to get and also hit that notification bell to get more updates on when next i drop tutorials now let's just get right into the tutorial for this um now one thing you need to know how to do with this is you need to know how to do double lifts so double lift is very essential the color change is relatively simple to do you just need to know how to do a double lift first off so i you can actually either do this from the middle of the deck if you want to using the center double that i taught you in the previous tutorial you can actually do a center double like that or you can just do a normal double from the top not to be too fancy you can be fancy if you want to so in this case the king of diamonds and you just turn it over and just put that card in the middle of the deck just like that the king of diamonds is still on top of the deck this is just a random card and then you do another double lift once more just like this so from the top of the deck and you show that card so in this case it's the ten of spades what you do is you pick up that double like this and you rifle downwards now my thumb is at this point like this so i can stop exactly where this card is out shoved so i fall down and stop there and what i just do is i just insert this card above the brick sorry right below the brick and above this card like this so i have this at this point like this and i just insert the card at that point like this then this is the doubles are still perfectly squared up what i just do is i just pull just a little bit just this kind of distance this border gap sorry just put on this gap between the cards and that is what i will use for the color change now the reason why this space is this small is because i don't want the um switch or change to be too obvious you understand why in a moment so yeah, at this point one card is out jogged at the front one card is in jogged behind they can obviously see this now i want to do it in a way that they can see the card clearly and don't let that space be too much because you are actually just going to be pushing this card into the deck and if the distance between this is too much you kind of it's kind of obvious what happened now what you do at this point is you just come over with your thumb and you raise at that at that um you raise that single card like this while your other hands other fingers just come over at this point and you raise your hand now you are bending this with your thumb upwards and as you bring your hands upwards like this automatically you just begin to push that card in so you are pushing that card in as you bring your hand upwards like that to reveal the bottom card which is the king of diamonds and so now you are at this point like this the um card is at this point so in this situation this is what's happening but with the deck there this is how it looks like then what you just do at this point is this you just raise up you just raise the pack with this bottom card you raise everything oh, sorry before you raise that up you actually just pull out this card and place it on top of the deck you can place it into the hands it depends entirely on you i like to just put it into the hands but since there's no one here just put it on top of the deck and then i raise up the entire pack above the above the out jogged card like that and what i just do is i come over with my now i'm gripping this pack with my middle and my um thumb my index finger is folded on top now my ring finger is free and what i just do is i just come over with my index finger to give this this out jogged card like this so that i can come over and grip with my ring and my middle finger like this now i'm not gripping it perfectly like this in line 
I'm shifting this more to the side. Now what this allows me to do is it allows me to, once I fold this over like this, it allows me to be able to reach this card with my thumb easily. Because if it was lined up, I wouldn't be able to reach it. So that's what that's why you need to move to the side a little bit. So I have this, do this, and what I just do is my uh, middle finger, I just pull that card out like this to reveal it and the trick is done. Okay, so let's assume let's just go with another card instead. So you have the five of hearts, pull, four of diamonds is revealed, they do not know. And what you just do at this point is you just line this up with the top one. Now to clean up for this, there are two ways you can just drop this and square up. I like to just control this card to the bottom of the deck using this behind this clip shift kind of position. And you just do that, square up the cards and you can show them, you can add it over to them and you are well partially clean because this card is still at the bottom of the deck no one is actually waiting to see it now you can cop this out if you want to or you can just leave it there and use it for something else for a trick that requires you to have a card face of underneath the deck that one is entirely up to you or you can copy if you want to be left clean just cop this card out of the deck and there the trick is done the effect is done so um let me just go by it once more real fast um shuffle if you want to double show the card turn it over put it in the middle i don't know what i was talking about put the card in the middle of the deck and okay that was not a double so the double is seven of diamonds rifle downwards down to this card i'll jog and inside the card in the middle just like that Get ready for the change to the get ready and just pop the card changes just like that pull out that card and it over to them pop this card then grip then just pull out john and you are in this position like this then you do your cleanup then you can just cop this out so that's entirely sorry that is how the trick goes um yeah i think that brings us to the end of this one catch you guys in the next one i was supposed to say something previously but i actually forgot i don't think it matters anymore i really need to start scripting my youtube videos now i really do need to start scripting them but right yeah i think that brings us to the end of this tutorial I'll catch you guys in the next one and if you haven't subscribed please do what to hit that subscribe button and yeah peace